At some point, we've all enjoyed a particular book series with recurring characters, but did you know that, with the exception of the first book, the subsequent ones are generally considered to be derivative works under copyright law? Essentially, a derivative work is a copyrighted work that's based on an original, existing copyrighted work. And the original copyright holder is the only one with the right to create derivative works, that is, until the copyright expires. In the 2014 Klinger v. Conan Doyle Estate Limited case, we examined the mystery of copyright protection for derivative works. Arthur Conan Doyle published 60 Sherlock Holmes works from 1887 to 1927. The final 10 were published between 1923 and 1927 and subject to a copyright extension law that extended their protection to 95 years after the original publication dates. Copyright for the other 50 that were published prior to 1923 had already expired, and those works were therefore considered part of the public domain, meaning that they could be copied without permission. In 2011, Leslie Klinger produced an anthology of stories inspired by and depicting Doyle's Sherlock Holmes character, along with his sidekick, Dr. Watson. Since the copyright to most of Doyle's works had expired, neither Klinger nor his publisher, Random House, expected Doyle's estate's permission was necessary for the book. However, when Doyle's estate demanded a $5,000 license, they acquiesced, obtained the license, and published the anthology. When Doyle's estate later learned of a similar sequel that Klinger was preparing to release with Pegasus Publishing, it threatened to block distribution of the work if Pegasus didn't obtain a license. Caving to the pressure, Pegasus refused to publish the sequel unless Klinger obtained a license from the estate. Klinger, however, sued the estate in district court, seeking a declaratory judgment that he may freely use the material in Doyle's first 50 works because the copyright had expired. Klinger ultimately moved for summary judgment, which the court granted, along with Klinger's declaratory judgment. The estate appealed to the Federal Circuit, contending that although the first 50 works were in the public domain, copyright protection for the two characters should remain until copyright for the last 10 works expired, because the characters and their complexities hadn't been fully developed or revealed until the later 10 works.